how's it going? Last time when I did this camera comparison, you guys mentioned that I should do another video with the S20 FE being on Android 12. Now that it has Android 12 on this one, let's do an updated camera test. Personally, I don't think there's gonna be a huge comparison between the two, but if you guys do see it, comment down below. I feel like this video is gonna be pretty short just because it's pretty much the same thing I did last time. So let's just get the day started. Today, I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A and Popeyes possibly, just because I do have points or enough points to get them for free. And also Chick-fil-A gave me this like birthday treat, therefore I have a free cookie. So I might as well use up all the points, get basically a free lunch today. So far, performance-wise, they're both pretty similar. I still can't tell which one is faster just by normal use, going to the camera, zooming in and out. So if you do have the S20 FE, if you upgrade it, still it wouldn't matter if it wouldn't matter to upgrade to the S21 FE because it feels the same. It feels like you're not getting a huge upgrade. Now that I got to look at these pictures on my screen, I would say most of it, probably 95% of it, is identical. Where I can see the difference is HDR. Sometimes the S21 FE does better, and the other times the S20 FE does better. And you would really need to look around to see what you're looking for. Like for this one, the grass in the shade, I think the S21 FE does a little bit better in terms of bringing in the shadows. The S20 is a bit too crushed. But for this one, the Galaxy S20 FE, the blacks are much deeper and I think it looks better than S21. They both can do 3x and again, most of it is the same. You can probably see a little bit color change in terms of the temperature. And for this video clip, it looks like the HDR is better on S20 FE. For 30x, which I don't know who would actually want to use this all the time, but I feel like from what I'm seeing, the S21 FE comes out better for the most part, but there are times the S20 FE does better. Now I still have this issue since day one on the S20 FE. I think it's just my unit, but whenever I take a picture, there's no snapping animation. So I can't tell if I took the picture or not. And there is a, a very slight vibration. It's like, it's like the tiniest nudge ever. So to me, it doesn't even count as a vibration. So that's still a huge or a big difference between the two from my experience. But I think it's just my unit from the comment section saying it's just mine and theirs are working fine. For portrait mode, I can see more of a difference. The S21 FE does a better job in HDR and recognition because for this one, the S20 didn't register. The S21 FE does have 3x in portrait mode, which is great and I do like the look of it, but you need a lot of space. You can tell that on S20, I'm only stuck with 1x and you can tell I'm pretty far from the phone. And for some reason, the Galaxy phones that I've used, like all of them, their 3x option in portrait mode does always, it always misses focus. There will be one or two that will hit, but if you like to take portrait mode by yourself, you would have to do it a lot of times or try different spots. For Instagram, doing video and saving it from the app is no good. It's really choppy, it's not as sharp, so I wouldn't recommend it. I've decided to get Boba tea instead, so I'm gonna save the Popeye sandwich later for dinner tonight. Just do some low-light tests. For pictures is fine and I noticed on the S21 FE there's some sharpening going on or more sharpening going on than S20 FE. Mm. Okay, so it doesn't get dark out until 9 o'clock and it's only 7.30 so I might as well eat in the dark in the living room and try to get some low light tests going on. As you know, my issue is still the same with the um, vibration and the animation. So personally, having a specific issue on this unit, yeah, I would like to upgrade, especially if you love taking photos or video. But even with Android 12 on both phones, would I still upgrade from the S20 FE? Casually, no, I would not upgrade. It still does a great job at doing everything you would normally do, like watching YouTube, scrolling through Instagram, all that stuff you can do without any problems. Now, if I were to create content more hardcore, like a lot of reels, TikTok, and um, maybe even YouTube videos, 
I would definitely would like to upgrade for the better camera. Not, not to upgrade for the S21 FE, but to upgrade to a flagship phone like the S22. I think the S20 FE will still be great for another year or two, especially if your phone is doing fine and is not dying on you, then I would hold on to it. Now I switched over to the ultra wide, which usually performs worse than the main camera lens. So you could probably see a lot more noise going on and I guess you can probably see a bigger difference between the two models. I feel like I would recommend S20 FE just because it's much cheaper and performance wise is pretty similar. So that is the comparison. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.